are currently driving to Kirksville, Missouri for my first medical school interview of this cycle. We're so excited. We've been driving for a solid hour. We got Chick-fil-A in Fargo. And now we are officially in our second state of the road trip. North Dakota, Minnesota, check, check. We are gonna go to Wisconsin today and then end up back in Minneapolis before we head down to Iowa tomorrow. Miles. Mom and I are gonna read A Court of the Winds of Roses. I've already read it, it's great, but she wants to read it and then has never read it. So. I read the first one. Oh, you did read this one? You didn't tell me that. Don't we just love this construction? <laughs> well, we have a problem. It's raining. So our little hiking adventure is not happening for today. Unfortunately, it's pouring. So we're going to Albertville and we're gonna go shopping instead. So we're gonna feed our soul. We're gonna do something that makes us happy. It's absolutely freezing and quite miserable, but we're shopping. <laughs> Finally done raining, but it's still windy and absolutely frigid. We just ate punch pizza in Eden Prairie, and now we are going to watch a movie and go to bed. Morning. Morning. We are currently driving out of Minneapolis down to Hidden Falls because it's actually a nice day today, so we're gonna hike a little bit. And then we're gonna go straight to Des Moines, Iowa, and then check into our hotel, get dinner, and then practice interviews. Punch pizza was awesome last night. I think we're gonna like it. Is that our punch pizza? <laughs> I'm so cold, my lips are. <laughs> She's up there. One. South Iowa. <laughs> I'll turn right onto 9th Street. We're in Des Moines right now, and there's been two full races on one of the one ways that we are currently on, which is very interesting. Good for them, Fast and Furious, Lego. Everywhere. <laughs> they have flags they everywhere. Really this is so cute. Where are we? <laughs> Don't even know. People, one car at a time. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. Cute. 
This is a bar in Perth. It's called the Press Room. That's so funny. We are currently going to Walmart to buy you Roku remote because I left mine at home. This had the best Mexican food. Just like everything's just so healthy. The trees are just all beautiful. Watching Grey's Anatomy. Lounging until the interview. Reception, dinner. Mom and I just got done with the student meet and greet. This is what I wore. We were watching Grey's Anatomy. You look adorable. We should have given an update when we got here because we were very talkative. We didn't really give an update. We got excited and talked to each other. Uh, yeah, we're feeling very optimistic. We're feeling very optimistic. The people were super, super nice. It was exciting. Hopefully the interview goes well tomorrow. You will. And I'm excited to learn more about the school because what they told me sounded really interesting and awesome. Okay. I just feel so much better. I could see myself here. It's early, so I can like plan out my life. I don't know. I feel like I can like start. We picked at some apartments. There's a lot of cute ones. Yeah, I found some old ones. Like with yeah, the brick. With brick. It's so bad. Cute to me living here with a brick. <laughs> No, but that would be so but fun. Like with your I've like always wanted the brick, brick, wall, brick walls. Like so many brick Can we also process that we were just completely talking and being worse lighting possible? Yeah, we were not me. Good morning, it's an interview day. This is what I'm wearing. Here's a better ankle. I'm feeling kind of nervous, kind of excited. What are you feeling, Mom? I'm feeling good. We got breakfast. I got two sausage links because I can't eat right now. <laughs> Okay, well the interview day is over. We got there at 11.30 and then we did a tour of the whole school. Got to see a simulation center. It was the coolest thing ever. It was a trauma simulation center where the trauma room was in and they could triage people and the military sometimes uses it and it was so cool. They had a birthing simulator. Just so cool. It's so cool. I'm trying to let mom see you, but you, the sun is really just blinding her. Yeah, it her. really is. It's, it's directly <laughs> on her face. All right high-tech, state-of-the-art facility. Ridiculous and beautiful. Then we went through the ultrasound clinic and they have 70 ultrasounds just sitting there. Then we went to the older buildings that was like a couple blocks down from like the main building. So I didn't actually know that that was a building that the school used, but that was one of the foundational ones, I believe. It was one of the older schools. It was really beautiful on the inside. But all the way on the top floor was the anatomy lab. And luckily, somehow, we actually had all of the first year medical students in the anatomy yeah. lab. They say they never are because they don't usually have lab on Mondays, but they did today. So we got to go in there while they were actually dissecting their cadavers. And that's a very rare thing to see. It was very cool. Yeah. And that kind of stuff, it feels weird, but it's also like you feel blessed because you get to learn because people decided to donate their bodies to science. And that's beautiful and thankful. and. That's just, it's just a crazy experience to be able to see that and see how those students are learning within four months of being in school. Right. They're dissecting a human body, understanding it in a way that you honestly could only understand if you could see it. Right. And then the cool thing was, is like, while you're dissecting, you're also ultrasounding during ultrasound mm -hmm. labs. So you get to see real life tissue with ultrasound while you're looking at it hands on. And then you're learning it in and the then lecture. You're learning at it in lecture. It was like and then you use it in the simulation lab. And I did my interviews and I met with an admissions counselor and then two professors. One's a physician and then one a research scientist. And they were amazing and it went really well. I was definitely nervous, but I think that because the day had went so long, I was like, all right, I am who I am. And I think that was really beneficial and I felt very confident in myself and what I said and how I felt, so. Oh, you should talk about the lab. The 
all of the students can practice OMM, which is osteopathic manipulative medicine, on all the tables at once. And then there's cameras everywhere that can show different angles of the physicians while they're doing manipulations. And then they apparently run around the rooms and do all this stuff. So that was a really massive building and really cool to see too. And then after all my interviews, we went down to the osteopathic museum with mom. She got to join again and then we said goodbye. And then we went and toured the student center, activity center for a little bit and then went to go look at the state park before we left. That was about it. So it was, it was a good day. I feel much better. We're heading to Des Moines right now. And yeah, hopefully I get in. Can we get in? <laughs> I always say that, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Is it? I just got accepted into medical school. <laughs> Mom's crying. <laughs> River. It's not as pretty as Bismarck's version of the Missouri River, but it's existing. <laughs> and the there's bridge. Nebraska. Hello, Nebraska. And here's Iowa. Hello, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> We're going through what feels like home. I'm like, yeah. this, I'm like, oh, this river looks just like ours, probably because it <laughs> is. <laughs> it's the exact same one. It's just in different yeah. place. <laughs> and then. I'm shaking right now. I was so scared calling her back because I was like, I better get it. <laughs> and we're eating German food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs>
do it.